Hello guys, it is Connie and today something that usually never happens is happening which is today I already smoked and if you have been following this channel for you know some time you probably know that I only smoke one cigarette a day and some days I don't even smoke and it is very very rare that I ever smoke more than one cigarette in one day but today is one of those days and I wanted to just you know kind of share with you what my second cigarette of the day is because that usually never happens, it happens like less than once a month, honestly. So yeah, today I'm gonna have my second cigarette of today and I'm just gonna be talking to you about why I even chose to come here. Um, am I upping my cigarette consumption and all of those things? So yeah, let's light it up. It's a Marlboro Red, one of my last ones. And let's talk about it, let's go. So, today I already smoked. It is true and most days when I actually feel like smoking my second cigarette is if I'm for example going on a walk at night, going on a walk at sunset, something like that. Usually the sunset and sunrises trigger me super super hard to smoke a cigarette because I just feel like all of the times that I smoked the cigarette either at sunrise or sunset was the time, were the times that I enjoyed the most. So every time my brain looks at the slight orange color in the sky it just goes directly to let's smoke a cigarette because it's going to feel really good right now because those are the memories that my brain has you know just having a good time while smoking at sunrise or sunset so that is exactly what happened you know today in the morning around 7 or 8 a.m i don't even know i smoked my first cigarette because i don't know i just wanted to smoke i guess and right now you know i went home i was like all right i smoked my cigarette for the day no more um it was actually the cigarette that i recorded my last video with i was talking about um how i didn't smoke for like three or four days and the cigarette that i smoked this morning was the first cigarette that i was smoking in four days you know i'm talking so fast by the way i need to chill but yeah i was actually i recorded actually the video today like this morning talking about how i haven't smoked in a couple days whatever i went home i did my whole day it's been like eight or nine hours since then yeah kind of i think i don't even know but right now it's sunset time and i looked outside and i saw like the orange color in my balcony like because my balcony is way higher up i can see the sunset better because i'm higher up so i have i don't have any buildings like blocking the sun you know so i just saw the orange color and i was like man it is time for a second cigarette and we all know it is and we are not going to deny it. I'm going to go into the car and I'm going to talk about this because this is, this doesn't happen often. So I feel like it's good to document it just because it's like, I don't know, not something that happens frequently. There's some car making a lot of noise. Anyway, I always get distracted by cars, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are triggered, not triggered, but like after they eat a meal, for example, they want to smoke a cigarette because that's the time that they feel like it's going to feel best for them. Some people, when they have a break at work, they feel like that's the best time for them to go smoke a cigarette because it's when they are used to, you know, it's kind of a habit. And for me, every time I see a sunrise or a sunset, I'm just like, man. And that's why mostly I choose to record my videos at sunset because that's usually the time where I feel like smoking a cigarette the most. But because today I smoked in the morning, now I'm looking at the sunset and I'm getting that same like want to, feel, to smoke a cigarette, but I have already smoked one, so this is the second one. You know, I don't know. I'm super excited. I get super happy at sunset. How can you not be happy with these like colors and everything? It's so pretty. I love it. And I just felt like adding a little bit more to it with a cigarette, but you know what? But yeah, today was a good day. I spent a lot of time just walking with my dad. I went to have lunch with my grandparents. It was a hell of a good time. And then I just did a lot of stuff. And yeah, then I was like, all right, I'm done with my stuff. I look outside, sunset is happening. And I'm like, well, I haven't smoked in like a couple of days. I can like smoke a second cigarette today. Like it's not gonna happen a lot of times because usually I like even when I want to smoke a cigarette a second cigarette on that day I just tell myself you know no you're not going to smoke a second cigarette but today I was like you know what whatever I will and I am I don't know I feel like ever since I was a child I was good at self-control 
except with money. When I was a kid and I had like two euro allowance for like the month, like my mom would give me and my brother a two year two euros so we could go do anything we wanted. Like we were like 10 years old. There were nothing we wanted to spend money in, you know. And I would always spend my two euros on the randomest stuff. Like I would just buy magazines that had little toys in them. I would buy bubble gum and just chew on it all on the same day. I don't know. With money, I've never been really good. I'm getting better now, but uh, when I was a kid, it was not good. And up until like 18, it was like I would just get money and spend all of it. Right now I'm getting better at it, but I feel like self-control with substances, I've been good. For example, like I never drink alcohol because honestly, I don't even like alcohol. We like energy drinks. I drank a little bit of energy drinks, but it came a point in my life when I was like 16 that I was like, I cannot be drinking this many energy drinks because I was drinking like three cans of Monster a day and that's like one and a half liters of energy drinks. So I was like, that is not very good for me. So I stopped. So I feel like when I was 16 was the first time where I was starting to be like really good at self-control. And then when I started smoking, it was always like, I never smoked more than two cigarettes in one day, you know? Actually, one day I actually smoked three and I was like, oh my God, I cannot do this. I never smoked three anymore. I smoked like three in one day. And then I was like, no, 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 I don't want to do this. But my point here is, because I've been so good with self-control and cigarettes, I feel like today I haven't smoked two cigarettes in one day in like months. So today was like, I'm gonna do it. I don't care, you know? So yeah, here we are. That was my story of how I ended up here. And I'm not thinking of smoking two cigarettes every day or even close to that, you know, or every week, maybe once a month, twice a month, but I'm not gonna do more than that because I'm very happy with the point of my addiction, which is like, I smoke one cigarette in one day and I can even not smoke the, the next day, you know, and I'm fine. And I don't wanna be needing cigarettes every day or like more than one in one day, you know? But also, you need to, you don't need to, but I think, I think it is kind of healthy to treat yourself sometimes. So if you're on a diet, maybe not, I don't, I don't really like cheat days, but I think that every day you can have something that is maybe a little bit sweeter, you know? Um, and it's fine, you're not gonna die because of it. You're not gonna completely screw your diet process if you have a little sweet in one day. But I feel like treating yourself sometimes can be really healthy, so. That's what I'm doing right here. I'm treating myself. Look at me, treating myself. And usually this has always happened. I don't know if it's like, whenever I smoke two cigarettes in one day, I always have this feeling that the second cigarette gives me even a bigger buzz than the first one. And I don't really know why. I don't know if it's placebo, if I'm just super excited to go smoke the second cigarette. So I just feel like buzz because I don't know, I'm excited. That doesn't seem like realistic, but I don't know. I usually feel like when I smoke the second cigarette, I'm always super like buzzed instead of like in the first one, you know? So yeah, it's always a pretty good experience. I'm feeling way chiller now. Oh my God. Right now, I feel like laying here and just chilling because like the cigarette buzz is hitting me and I'm feeling like relaxed, you know? Um, but yeah, also this lighter that I bought, I bought this at a, I don't know if you guys have this in, in America, but here in Portugal and Europe in general, There are a lot of Chinese owned stores, so Chinese full of like stores full of Chinese products owned by Chinese people or Asian people, you know. So I bought this as at one of those stores and usually a lot of people go to a lot of those stores because they have very cheap items and they have everything that you can need in your house, like of little things, they have it, you know. So I bought this as one of those stores. But this lighter like just produces so much gas that I feel like it affects a lot this the taste of the cigarette so i don't know how much i'm going to be using this lighter just because i really think that it affects the flavor of the cigarette a lot but it's so cute you know i just had to buy it to have it in my collection i will just probably not use it to light cigarettes a lot because they affect the taste a lot um but yeah it has rabbits and chickens i had to get it But yeah, that was my second cigarette of the day. That was probably the last time in a long time that I'm going to be smoking two. But I never actually made a video on this channel where I smoked my second cigarette because usually I record if I smoke one cigarette, right? And then if I smoke the second cigarette, I'm usually like going on a walk from, by myself and I just want to smoke and chill. 
Um, so I never recorded, but today I was like, I'm gonna record it. I feel like recording a video right now. So yeah, here you are. I hope you enjoyed. What is going on with my nail, by the way? Anyway, someone the other day asked me, where do I do my nails? Where do you think I do them? At home, I do them by myself, obviously. I just like put nail polish on my nails and I pray that it stays, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I just do my nails myself, as you can probably tell. But I really enjoyed this little chat with you and I hope you enjoyed as well. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye.